Sumter man sentenced to life in prison today after a jury found him guilty of killing his former girlfriend and her five-year-old daughter. News 19's Kaylin Hagwood is in Sumter tonight with the details. After a week-long trial, family of Cherie Bradley and Nevea Adams were able to exhale, breaking into tears after learning their loved one's killer will remain behind bars. We the jury unanimous to find the defendant, Dante Maurice Johnson, guilty. Dante Johnson received two consecutive life sentences for their murders, the jury taking just about two hours to find him guilty. Here's Bradley's brother. It's actually deplorable, despicable, wicked, less than... The prosecution was not seeking the death penalty by request of the family. During closing arguments, prosecutors said Johnson, armed with a large knife, stabbed Bradley 14 times, killed Nevaeh, and put the child in the trash. Then they say he confessed to it. I didn't kill those people on purpose. And then he asked the police officer, y'all hear me? And the police officer says, yeah, we heard everything you said. And then Dante says, I felt like I had to. But public defenders for Johnson tried to claim their client feared for his life and only had the knife for protection from her children's fathers, questioning why others didn't hear the crime take place. I remember when I lived in an apartment, I could hear everything that my next door neighbors were doing. It doesn't make sense. In the end, jurors rejected those claims. Sumter Police Chief Russell Rourke called the killings one of the most heinous crimes he'd ever seen in his career, with solicitor Chip Finney saying he hopes the verdict helps the community to heal. Reporting in Sumter, Kaylin Hagwood, News 19, WLTX. August 5th, 2019, the Lantana Apartments in Sumter, South Carolina. 29-year-old Cherie Bradley was found deceased on the floor of her home by her son. Bradley and her five-year-old daughter, Nevaeh Adams, were murdered by a sick individual consumed by rage and madness. His name, Dante Johnson, the ex-boyfriend of Bradley. This heartless, barbaric crime that claimed the lives of a mother and her five-year-old child sent shockwaves through the tight-knit community, leaving behind a wound that would never fully heal. On that fateful night, Dante Johnson was armed with a large folding knife. He brutally stabbed Cherie Bradley 14 times before targeting young Nevea. After he murdered the defenseless child he callously discarded her dead body into a trash dumpster. Nevea Adams' body was not found until weeks later in a Richland County landfill. Cherie Bradley had been stabbed in the face, her arms, and in the back of her neck. The prosecution presented a phone call made by Dante Johnson as proof of his guilt. He was the killer of Bradley and Adams. It was also revealed in the courtroom how Johnson tried to get away with the heinous murders by cleaning up the crime scene. Authorities who entered the Bradley household described smelling the strong odor of lavender cleaning solution. In the corridors of justice, the tale of Dante Johnson's heinous crimes unfolded with a chilling clarity that left the city of Sumter, South Carolina, reeling in shock and disbelief. Johnson's defense team sought to cast doubt on the prosecution's case, arguing that their client had acted in self-defense. They painted a picture of Johnson being afraid of Bradley's children's fathers and only arming himself with a knife out of fear for his own safety. Even if you were to accept Johnson's story, this would still be no reason or excuse to kill five-year-old Nevaeh Adams. There was no way for him to explain away the evil acts he committed. Dante Johnson murdered a little girl and threw her away like she was a piece of trash, a truly despicable and evil crime. Reportedly, Johnson had only been in town for one month, yet caused such immeasurable destruction and tragedy. As the trial reached its climax, the tension in the courtroom was palpable. Jurors deliberated for hours, weighing the evidence presented before them and grappling with the weight of their decision. And when the verdict was finally delivered, Johnson got what he deserved. Guilty on all counts. Dante Johnson was sentenced to life in prison for the murders of his former girlfriend Cherie Bradley and her daughter Nevaeh Adams. In the end, justice prevailed, but the scars left behind by Johnson's actions would linger for a lifetime. Johnson took the lives of the victims and took them away from their loved ones forever. Therefore, life in prison is the unforgiving and correct sentence for this cold-blooded killer who showed no mercy on that tragic day.
We begin tonight over in Sumter. That is where an incident report was released tonight in the arrest of 28 year old Dante Johnson. He's the man who confessed to killing 29 year old Shante Bradley and her five year old daughter, Nevaeh Adams. News 19's Lauren Thomas has the details on what that report says. We got this incident report around 630 this evening and in it the Sumter Police Department gives a few more details about the death of 29 year old Cherie Bradley and the search for five year old Nevaeh Adams. This all happened on Monday night at the Lantana Apartments in the city of Sumter. According to the incident report, Cherie Bradley was found by a family member who informed the property manager that she wasn't breathing. The property manager went to the apartment, saw Bradley on the living room floor and then called 911. The report says Bradley was found with multiple injuries to her head and neck area. It goes on to say that law enforcement found Dante Johnson, who they say had been in a relationship with Bradley. He was found on Paula Street, then ran from officers and was caught here on Susie Rimbert Street about a block over from the complex. According to the report, Bradley's son told officers that his sister, Nevea Adams, was missing and she was last seen with her mother, Cherie Bradley. During a press conference earlier this week, the Sumter police chief announced that Johnson confessed to killing Cherie and Nevaeh and claimed that he threw Nevaeh's body in a dumpster that was taken to a landfill in Richland County. Investigators say they are still working to locate five-year-old Nevaeh Adams. Reporting in the studio, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX. Last night, the Sumter community came together to say goodbye to Nevaeh Adams and Cherie Bradley. The mother and daughter were killed in their home two years ago. Balloons were released to commemorate their memory. News 19's Eleanor Tabone has more. They go on, but their memory still lives. It's the tragedy the Sumter community will never forget. I miss Cherie and I also dearly miss Nevea. Today, remembering five year old Nevea Adams and her mother, Cherie Bradley. One, two, two three. Cherie Nevea! Love you! They are up there in that beautiful sky with the Lord. But I just want everyone to know that I love my daughter and I love my granddaughter. Police believe Nevaeh and Cherie were killed at their home at the Lantana Apartments in Sumter by 29-year-old Dante Johnson. Johnson was located a short time after the killings. Sumter Police Chief Russell Rourke in attendance. He remembers working the case and the scars it left. An event two years ago changed this community. It changed our police department. It has left uh, scars on the hearts of many of our officers. Nevaeh Adams and Cherie Bradley was brutally murdered in their home. For Nevaeh's father, Dupre Adams, the emotion just got to be too much for the still grieving father. <laughs> because we representing my baby. It's still fresh, like it was yesterday. Police found little Nevaeh's remains in a landfill in Richland County, two months after the murder. They say Johnson confessed to killing them both with a knife. Johnson telling officers he dumped Nevaeh's body in a nearby dumpster after the killings. During this 10 years, I've seen a lot of tragedy, but nothing measures up to what we have witnessed two years ago. A week doesn't go by where their names are not brought up in a house. In Sumter, Eleanor Tabo, News 19 WLTX.